Today I'm going to show you how to make some magnetic clips so you can keep your material in place with a laser. My name is Gil Poznanski and I'm really, really passionate about maker culture, projects and equipment. If this is the first time you've come to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any other videos about projects, maker culture, tips and technology. Let me introduce you to MagClips, a material support holder that will allow you to support your material in your laser cutter. The benefits of mag clips are that you'll get a cleaner cut with less charring on your final piece, as well as the removal of any bowing from the material you place into your laser. Mag clips come in two styles. The mag clip itself, which goes around the border of the material, and the spike, which you place underneath to support the material to make sure that there's no bowing present. How to use your mag clips. Remove your mats from your Emblazer laser cutter. Attach the mag clips to the side of your material. Place the workpiece into the emblazer. You should feel the magnets lock onto the metal base. If needed, place a spike in the center section to support the material from sagging under its own weight. Mag clips are 10 mil high and your laser will need to have its cutting height configured accordingly. Mag clips can be used on any material that is rigid and holds its own form like wood or plastic. These clips are low cost and can be made with a handful of parts and some 3D printed pieces. If you don't have a 3D printer at home, ask at your local library and see if they'll allow you access to their 3D printer to make up the parts you need. To make your own, you will need 3D printed parts, which make up 6 mag clips and 3 spikes, 6 M6 screws, an M6 tap to cut the M6 threads, 6 rod magnets for the body type, and 4 5mm rod magnets for the spike type. 3D print your parts for your mag clip set. These should contain 4 bodies and 3 spikes. Your mag clip will have 2 sides, 2 holes within it. Be aware of this little hole just here. There's a little lip, and that little lip actually shows you where the tap goes. Using your hand tap, tap the thread with that little lip, and thread it into the body support. When you're threading the mag clip, don't try to do it all in one pass, just back it off a little bit, let the shavings fall out the bottom and then continue on. Step three, by using a piece of metal, I can actually take the magnet, place it on the metal, take the mag clip body, and line it up, squishing it down. This allows me to push it all the way in and get it flat. One done. Now that the mag clip body parts are done, I move on to the magnets for the spike pieces. These use 5mm magnets that go into the spike pieces. Now that all the mag clip bodies have magnets in place, we move on to the next step. Step 4. Thread the M6 connector screws onto the body and tighten.
Have you made some mag clips yourself? Please let us know in the comments below how you use these mag clips to take your next project to the next level. I'd like to thank Darkly Labs for allowing me to come in, use their space and share this project with you. If you haven't discovered Darkly Labs range of diode based laser cutters and engravers, I invite you to follow the link below and discover how you can have a laser cutter in your office or in your classroom. If this is the first time that you've come to this channel, feel free to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on any other videos that talk about creating, maker culture and projects like this. I'm going to catch you really soon so that we can continue exploring how to create with light.